Hello and welcome. My name is George and my channel is all about helping you get the most out of Logic Pro so that you can record and produce your best music in your home studio. Today we're going to be looking at the vocoder plugin in Logic Pro which allows you to recreate some cool vocal effects that you might hear by some artists such as Daft Punk. So let's dive in. Okay, so to start off, we're going to load in our vocoder plugin, which is a software instrument. So to do that, we'll go up here and hit the little plus button to create a new track. And we're going to select software instrument. Go ahead and hit create. And I'll just pull this to the bottom. And with your instrument track selected, go over here where it's blank and it says instrument. Click on that and that gives us all our software instruments available to us. And we're gonna go scroll down here to the vocoder synth. Select stereo. And that loads up our vocoder synth. Now, if we go ahead and play this, it's going to sound like a synthesizer, which it is. But what we're going to be doing today is actually feeding a vocal signal into this synthesizer. So I'll show you how to do that. So for starters, I'll play you what the vocal sound like that we're working with. So I'll just move this here and I'll just solo the vocals so you can hear that. And I'm ready. I'm making new tracks, leaving behind the past. I see it coming. Don't care what no one says. So we're going to send this vocal track to this vocoder synth. So to start, what I'm going to do is record some MIDI onto this synth. So that's going to tell the synth what notes to output. So I'm just going to play some chords based on the chords of my track here. So let's start by renaming this just by double clicking, call this vocoder. And I'll mute the vocal for now. I'm going to hit the letter R to record, and I'm going to play in some chords using my MIDI keyboard. Okay, now let's double click on here, which will open up our piano roll. I'll just close the vocoder momentarily. And I'll just kind of fix any mistakes that might have happened, such as this note right here. I'll just select, delete that. I'll select everything by going Command A, and I'll just do a quick quantize to the closest quarter note, and that all looks good. So I'll close this by hitting the letter P, and now let's open our vocoder back up by selecting our vocoder track and just going up here in the middle. And that opens this up. So right now, if I solo the vocoder, it'll sound exactly as you heard me play it in. So it'll still just sound like a regular synthesizer. But what we want to do is what's called side chaining. So we're feeding information from another track into this vocoder. So for that, we go up here where it says analysis input. And on previous versions of Logic Pro, this said sidechain. And you'll see right now it says synthesizer. So we'll click there. And we're going to go to audio and we're going to select our vocal lead track, this audio two, which will be this track. And now if I were to press play now, 
it's still going to sound unchanged. It'll still be the same. And the reason for that is over here where it says signal. We want to change that to VOC, vocoder. And now you'll be able to hear the voice. And there you go. So now we have our vocals running through the vocoder. Now there's a few different presets that you can check out. If you go here to where it says default preset and just go to the bottom, you know, sir, maybe we'll start with the vintage vocoder. So let's start with this atmospheric pad. And we can scroll through some of those presets with the arrows right here. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different presets to check out. I'm just going to go back to the clear voice to start and just go over a few of these settings that you might want to look at um, to try and tweak your sound a little bit. The first is going to be the bands here. And basically, if you click and drag, you can increase the number of bands up to 20 or down to five. And the more bands you have, the kind of more realistic or closer to the voice it's going to sound like, and the more kind of robotic it's going to sound with the least amount of bands. So we'll play that so you can hear the difference. <laughs> So you can hear the difference there. One other thing you might want to check out is formant shift. So this is going to kind of make the voice sound either deeper or higher. So it can change the characteristic of the voice. So I'll show you what that sounds like. Just increase these bands again a little bit. And then the form and stretch, that's going to play a little bit into the bands, um, similar characteristics. So the kind of closer together they are, the more kind of robotic it's going to sound. And the wider, you'll get a little bit more um, of a natural sound, I would say. So I'd say with the maximum amount of bands and the widest form and stretch, you're going to get kind of the most natural sounding voice. A few other settings you can check out is the ensemble setting here. So that's going to kind of give a bit of a chorusy effect. If I'm And you can look at this stereo width as well. So I was just going to widen the signal a little, little bit between the left and right speakers. We've also got a filter cut off over here. So this is going to cut the high frequencies if you bring this down. So that sounds like this. 
And when using the vocoder, you can, of course, choose to keep the voice 100% vocoder, or you can blend in your original vocal to taste. Uh, you can use this to kind of provide some backgrounds as well and create harmonies by playing in chords like I did here. So let's have a listen of what that sounds like together. I'm making new tracks, leaving behind the past. I see it coming. Don't care what no one said. I'm doing it my own way. I want what's coming. few other things you can try is actually if you are creating chords like this is have a different note on a different vocoder track and that way you can have kind of different settings for each harmony and you can change the padding and do some different effects like that and that just could create some cool interest. So I hope that helps get you started creating some cool vocal effects using the vocoder plugin in Logic Pro. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And if you want to improve your workflow in Logic Pro, be sure to download my Ultimate Logic Pro Starter Pack. This includes my Logic Pro Hotkey Cheat Sheet, my audio recording guide, my mixing guide, my gear guide, as well as my Logic Pro session templates. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.